Well, good morning. My name is Tiffany Huckelman. I am the founder and owner of Lone Orange Brand Consulting. And at Lone Orange, we help service solopreneurs create a stellar client experience by getting super clear on your own brand, your own powerful brand identity. I got a question for you. Why did you start your business? We all got into business for a reason, especially if you started your own business, especially if you're a solo entrepreneur. So why did you start your business? Some of the common answers might be freedom, flexibility, um, uh, financial stability. (laughs) Sometimes that's true. Sometimes it's not. But financial freedom, financial control, um, being your own boss, those kind of things. But why else? As a coach or consultant or somebody who does a service-based product, business, you got, I'm I'm gonna guess that you got into business to help people. Is that true? I think we all have something deep in our hearts that we wanna be able to do, and all we wanna do is be able to help people. And we have an expertise, a knowledge, experience, wisdom that we wanna share and we can help people with, and that's why we got into business. We wanna help make the world a better place. We wanna help our clients' lives be better for the work that we do, than the transformation that we provide. So here you are, you've got a dream for your business, you've got a, a expertise that you can uh, offer to people, and now you gotta figure out how to run a business. And that's not an easy thing to do. <laughs> There's a lot that goes into it. There's marketing and branding and accounting and networking and and all the administrative tasks, all the invoicing, all the technology, all of those kind of things that we don't, that you may not necessarily know when you're getting into, to business. Very few of us are experts in all of that. Um, but you are an expert in what, in the great work that you do. Um, so you've got a distinctive, oh, sorry. You've got a distinctive way to impact this world, right? Um, each one of us, by the pure fact that we're human, we're unique, we're distinctive. And when, when you start a business as a solo entrepreneur, that makes that business unique. No matter how many people are in your market space or in your industry, you are unique. And there is a way, um, that you serve people uniquely. And so, um, figuring out what that distinction is, is critical. But here's the thing, if you're not delivering on that distinctiveness, if you're not delivering on the promise that you give to your clients um, in a stellar way, in a memorable way, then you're actually doing them and your mission a disservice. Um, <clears throat> so, what, so what are you promising them? Do you know? Are you promising them what you're actually delivering? Um, let me back up. Do you even know what you're, what you're promising? Do you even know what you're telling people, um, to expect from you? Do you know what you are trying to deliver on? You know the work you want to do, but as a company, do you know what, what you're promising people? And then is what you're promising what you're actually delivering? That's oftentimes there's a disconnect. What we think we're delivering is not necessarily what people are experiencing when they work with us. So do your clients experience you in the way that you told them they would? And if they are, great. Is that good enough for you? Is what you're doing now where you want your client experience to be? Or do you need to kick it up a notch? And if they're not experiencing what you told them to expect, why? Why not? Is your message wrong? Is your client experience wrong? Is there some other gap that's missing that you're essentially letting your clients down and letting your mission down? So the question that we were were talking about today is how, if we got into business to help people, then how can we have a greater impact? Um, How can you reach more of the people that you can best serve um, so that you can have a greater impact in the world and, and make a bigger difference? first thing you got to know, you got to be able to do is to know. And know is know you. Know gets super clear on who you are as a business, on who you are as a company. Know your values. Know what makes you different. Know your company personality. Know who the best people are that you can help. Um, Not just any old client who will pay you, but who are the best people that you can help the most. 
those are critical things for any business owner or any business to understand and be super clear on. So that's the first step. And if you know yourself, then you're able to communicate that. So that's the second step. You know, and then you communicate. And if you can, once you know who you are and what really makes you different and special, then you can communicate that. And you can communicate that to the people who you can help the most, um, both visually and verbally. And those people then are going to know that you can help them and that you're talking to them because you know who they are and you can speak their language. So know, communicate. And then the last one, and this to me is kind of the secret sauce. B, how do you exemplify? How do you live out? I don't know if you heard that alarm, but (laughs) that was not supposed to go off. Um, How do you um, live out your mission and live out all of the, um, everything that you're promising. So you know who you are, how are you living that out? So what I mean by that is in your everyday systems and you hear systems all the time talked about in business. And for a long time I heard, I said, yeah, I want systems. I know, I know I need systems. That's what they all say, but nobody could tell me how. So it took me a long time to figure that out. Finally found a couple of great resources and a lot of trial and error, but the B is critical because the systems is going to be what makes your brand come to life. So everything you know about your company and how you're communicating that now needs to be in the experience. And that's the experience is driven by those systems. So knowing what, um, making sure that your sales process, that all your operational processes, that all your client delivery processes reflect that brand identity that you say you are, um, and that they're experiencing you in the same way. That's where the gold is right? That's when you have that consistent experience. Um, that's when it makes life easier for you, for your team members. And, um, it makes sure that your clients are experiencing you in a positive way, the way you want them to be in a consistent way that they can be talking to people about that. Um, so to be able to have that greater impact that you want to have in your business, you've got to know, communicate and be. Now in two weeks, I'll be back on Facebook live. And by then I will have a little uh, treat for you, um, around that no communicate and be, uh, we're putting our finishing, I'm putting the finishing touches on it right now. But, um, for right now, I just want you to be thinking about that, um, that, that impact to be able to do what you want to do in the world. You've got to know who you are, be able to communicate the heck out of that, and then make sure that that experience is consistent and, um, uh, replicable. It's a big word, but, um, so that you and other people can do it and that that's how your business will thrive and be able to move forward in a consistent manner. So I hope that's helpful. Um, I would love to hear any comments you have about this, anything that really resonated with you, any challenges that you've had in your business. Um, feel free to drop that in the comments below. Um, also I want to offer, if you are interested in talking with me more about how this no communicate and be thing, um, or how your brand identity can actually help you have a better, uh, greater impact in the world or how your understanding your brand and developing your systems can help your business. I would love to have a chat with you about that. And I will put in the comments below, um, a link where you can go and schedule just 30 minute, uh, zoom call with me where we can get on and just talk about it and see where you are with your business. See if Lone Orange can help you, um, see if it's the right fit for you. I would love to to just have that conversation with you and see if we can't help you move the needle a little bit. So until next time, I look forward to, to seeing you. Thanks for joining me today and I'll talk to you later. Have a great week. Bye.